This is a uh, story of perhaps one of my most colossal failures in the world to date. Um, it involves a lot of mortars, mechanoids, and a human sacrifice named Pratt. As you can tell on screen, that I had a huge mechanoid problem that I was unable to get rid of. I tried mortar teams, I tried sending in allies, I tried traders coming to help it, and as you can tell, nothing worked. Around 20 people lost their lives just fighting mechanoids, barely even making a dent in the uh, mechanoids' forces. While I was recording this, a mad Ivex still tried to help me and kill them, but um, it obviously was massacred, and that was the final straw for me. And here came Pratt. Pratt was a very useless colonist with um, no skills whatsoever into my colony. He joined from a wanderer event, so I could not choose not to have him. And I didn't really want to banish him because maybe I could use him for something. And this mechanoid cluster was exactly what I was going to use him for. He was going to be the guinea pig to send all the mortars in a transport pod and deliver over a hundred mortars on the ground to kill all the mechanoids. Here's a little example of what my plan would entail. I would load mortar shells into a transfer pod and then drop it right on the cluster. And Pratt will then be the one to detonate all the mortars on the ground. While my mortar teams with EMPs are supposed to cover them. Obviously, the mortars from the mortars are very inaccurate, so I couldn't detonate them just with the mortars themselves. So, a human sacrifice needs to be made. And in my mind, Pratt, being worse than useless, was the obvious candidate to carry out this um, one way mission. So, I made preparations, I made more high explosive shells, I made EMP shells waiting for the day to finally kill Pratt. may sound like I'm happy about it, but looking back, I don't know why I did this. I thought this was seriously the best way to, to get rid of the mechanoids. Here is uh, my mortar team. Three mortars. I know it's not a lot for a colony my size, but they were the one... I didn't want to make any more for some reason. I just thought, ah, three is good enough, even though I have around ten colonists. And uh, here is the loading of the transfer pod with Pratt in it and 65 mortars because you can't carry any more. And the second transfer pod will land next to Pratt um, carrying the rest mortars. There was around 100 mortars on the ground. And if I could just detonate one of them, it would be good enough to essentially be a nuclear warhead killing all the mechanoids. I couldn't, I couldn't attack it directly. Or else everyone would die. So, mortar teams are prepped, EMP shells loaded, ready to fire. And so we say goodbye to Pratt. And hopefully this, this suicide mission is worth it. There goes Pratt. Mortars are locked in. Fully expecting not enough for them to hit. And boom, Pratt lands and is automatically a disaster. She's almost on fire. The mortars next to her are on fire. And I'm panicking at this point because I brought a pistol. I'm like, shit. I, I didn't, re I totally forgot that I had Molotovs in my inventory. I was like, okay, maybe I'll just shoot one of the incendiary rounds. And then boom. The fucking EMP shells hit with laser like accuracy. And every single mechanoid is stunned. And I'm trying to figure out. Okay, Pratt, you need to just shoot one of the shells that are scattered around to blow this place up sky high. And I'm panicking, I'm panicking, and eventually I finally realized that I had Molotovs in her inventory, so I dropped them and picked up picked up uh, the cocktails and started tossing. So here comes the first toss. Complete miss. And my dev console goes off saying how bad I was. Complete miss. The auto <laughs> That's it. Top half is completely dead. Pratt's on the ground. I'm like, alright, maybe there's a chance. And like, 
the second mortars go off and kill her outright. And as you can see, barely made a dent in the whole army, in the whole mechanoid army. Um, it was a worthy sacrifice. And eventually I called more and more reinforcements to deal with the mechanoids. And here is the leader of my colony, Bones, bringing her back to her final resting place. You may ask why I did this? Well, I thought, in my mind, this was going to go way better. Also, she doesn't have a head because the raccoon ate it, obviously. In my mind, this was going to go way better. And the mechanoids would die. But obviously, that was not the case. And I decided to have a statue in her honor. Commemorating her sacrifice.